Hello to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you're new and if you're not, welcome back, of course. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the next important person to come into your life. What are they like? What are they bringing? Things like that. Um, so I have three piles in front of me as usual. Pile number one is to your left and pile number three is to your right. I'm going to have all of the timestamps linked in the description box down below for you guys and I will see you at your pile. Hello to everyone who chose pile number one. This is going to be your reading on the next person to enter your life. So we're looking at the next influential person. And we are just going to jump right in and get started. This is the intuitive card that popped out. Whoever this is, this person could like to watch cartoons. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, they could also have dark skin or be a different skin tone than you. So this is someone who could be a different ethnicity than you. Power number one, I'm getting the sense that you like to debate, not in a negative way, but just in a healthy way. You like someone who can stimulate you intellectually and have a good conversation. It's not all about sex with you or surface level things or a way a person looks. And so that's exactly who was about to enter your life. It doesn't have to be romantic, but with this person, I definitely feel like you are going to have some awesome conversations. I do see y'all, you know, coming at each other, like not in a negative way, but this is somebody who is going to give you a run for your money when it comes to debate and intellectual stimulation. This is someone who's going to be able to hold a conversation with you. Um, I feel like you run across a lot of people who you may get real deep with and they just kind of end the conversation or, you know, it's awkward and they just like, man, I was not trying to even, you know, get all into that. I was just talking about macaroni and then you give them the history of macaroni and they're like, fuck, like I just want some mac and cheese. <laughs> so this is a person uh, who would appreciate that and who has a lot of knowledge on history or um, like unknown facts or just things that people wouldn't normally know the history of. I am getting the sense that whoever this is, you may not like them at first because they're going to give you an impression of like, man, like who does this person think they are? Like how dare they, you know, come at my intellect. But I feel like after a while, this person um, is going to grow on you because they do have pure intentions. If you are a person who gets bored very easily, this is someone who is definitely going to be able to keep your attention. They could be a fire sign. This person is a fire cracker, all right? Um, it's always going to be very new and fresh with this person. You guys are going to make each other laugh. This is somebody who you're going to be able to joke around with. Um, this is someone who like could talk really fast too. They have hair on their head, which is so weird to come through like that. But this is someone who could dye their hair um, or have big hair or hair grows up towards the sun. Um, this is someone who could be mixed as well. So they could be multiple ethnicities, but they definitely have like, uh, like tanner skin. Like I don't think this person is white, but they are very interested in in what's inside of your mind, what's inside of your head. Uh, and I think you guys are gonna compliment each other very well. Mm, this is someone who likes to wear like button ups or turtlenecks or something with a collar. All right, let's go ahead. We are gonna get, oops, we're gonna get some other cards. All right, I'm being told to start with tarot instead of the oracle deck so we'll do that all right who is this person the next influential person to enter the life of my pal number one this person seems like a lot of fun all right we have the punishment we have the moon
we have the King of Earth, which is the King of Pentacles. And then we have the Justice card. Um, and in this deck, I don't know if anybody else has this deck, but number eight in the Major Arcana is definitely Strength. But in this deck, it says Justice. So I don't know if it's just like a printing error. We also have the Sun at the bottom of the deck. But um, if anybody else has this deck, like, let me know. Like, what's going on, if you know? All right, so we have a ton of major arcana cards. So this person is coming in with a big impact, okay? For first and foremost, they are definitely a different culture than you. So when you meet this person, it's going to be very interesting because you guys are going to learn a lot about each other because you come from two completely different backgrounds. And I think that is going to be uh, what keeps this relationship, whether it be romantic or platonic, really fresh and really interesting because they're going to be learning things about your culture and the way that you were brought up and vice versa. This person is a leader. This person is stable coming up as the king of pentacles. It did come up in reverse. So uh, this is someone who likes to look good and could be really flashy and honestly could come in love bombing you. If this is a romantic interest, they could like to take you out a lot or just like to try to impress you with the material things that they have. This is also someone who is used to being in control and I feel like whoever has chosen pile number one is used to being in control as well. Um, and so you pretty much have two alphas that are coming to meet each other. So I think a lesson in this relationship is going to be kind of stepping back and receiving and letting somebody else take control and that's going to be for both of you guys. Um, there is a little bit of fire energy coming through, a lot of sexual energy coming through as far as what this person likes in the bedroom. This is somebody who would want to spank you or teach you a lesson for some shit that you done did earlier, okay? I'm just saying it like it's coming through. Don't judge me. Do not come for me. <laughs> this is just that type of person. They definitely are with the sexy outfits as well. This person looks good. They're going to want you to look good too. Um, but deep conversation really stimulates this person. They could definitely be a Leo. doesn't have to be. And then of course, we have the King of Pentacles here. Um, I'm hearing Capricorn for some reason. Like Capricorn above the rest. But of course, we also have Taurus and Virgo in there. I don't think this person is lazy. Um, they definitely like to get up and get things done. We have Justice here. So they could easily work in the Justice field being like a police officer um, or something like that. But this person is very outspoken. So this is the type of person, if they see something crazy going on um, outside or they see any sort of injustice happening, this is the type of person who would say something, right? Like they ain't scared, okay? They are not scared to have their voice and their opinion heard. I feel like a lesson that they are going through right now is really realizing that there is a time and a place for everything. And just because you're right, doesn't mean that it has to be said. This is someone who could be a bigger individual. And I'm definitely getting that from this King of Pentacles. You see how like huge he is? And it doesn't necessarily mean that this person is fat, although they very well could be, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're a feminine watching, um, this is somebody who you could sit like in between their legs is the vision that I'm getting and they would still tower over you. So if you were like sitting in a bed watching like a tablet or whatever, like you could still sit in between this person's leg and you would not block the view at all. So this could be a very tall person. This is someone who has very sharp features and could be bald. <laughs> They don't necessarily have to be because I I know I said earlier that this person has hair, but I feel like if they're older, they could potentially be bald or um, low key, not gonna lie, they could wear like a piece on their head. So if this is a female, she could wear like wigs or like hair extensions. If this is a male, he could do the same or has had some sort of pr procedure to like make 
his hair grow or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to continue. All right. We have prostitute. Accentuate the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have a liberator. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Um, For some reason, I'm getting that this person could come from a very strict traditional background. So... Uh, for example, if they are a certain ethnicity and their parents or grandparents wanted them to marry someone from the same ethnicity or background or religious background, this person is uh, going to be one of the first people in their family to break free from that um, and explore dating other races or other people. This is someone who used to judge people very, very harsh because of the way that they were brought up. And I feel like now this person is kind of, um, I'm hearing reparenting themselves or unlearning a lot of the things that they learn from their parents because it's not right. I do feel like this person was put in a situation or had a tower moment that happened to make them realize that it could easily be them, right? So this could be somebody who maybe was rich and then lost all of their money or maybe I'm also hearing got an STD or something like that. Of course, something that they could get rid of. Um, but basically, they were put in a vulnerable situation where they used to judge people on and then it happened to them. So don't take everything that I say literally. Just know that this person had a moment, okay? They had a moment <laughs> to where God was like, now boom, you just like the people that you judge. And it really humbled this person. It really, really humbled this person. So that is awesome. At one point in this person's life, they felt like money and power was everything with prostitute here. Um, and so at one point they could have did anything for money. And so this could easily be a person who was put into some compromising positions because they were in lack or um, someone who came from money and was taught that you have to kind of step on other people's necks to get it or to be in a position of power who has since learned from that. And so uh, now that this person uh, finally realizes money isn't everything, I feel like they have a lot more inner peace and they have a lot more happiness. Not to say that they don't have money and not to say that they aren't stable, but um, it's just not the end all be all for this person anymore. All right, let's continue. Just reading, getting a little long. Who is the next influ influential person to enter the life of my pal number one? We have connect with the earth. So this person could definitely be an earth sign. We have hydrate at the bottom of the deck. Mm. There's something going on with this person's hair, okay? Either they have like crazy like dyed hair or just um, some extreme going on with their hair with hydrate here or they're bald. So they either have like really amazing hair or like no hair at all. So um, because I'm seeing an extreme of something when it comes to the hair. So either none or just like a lot of it. All right, so we have connect with the earth here. So this could be somebody who is very in tune with nature, who likes to be outside. And really with what is coming through with connect with the earth is sturdiness. Like this person is sturdy. This person is solid. Uh, they have a really solid foundation. Um, if this person did not come from poverty, then this is someone who has, I'm hearing like, old money whose family uh, could have a lot of money or something like that like coming from generational wealth because I'm seeing a tree that's been there for a long time so some family or someone who has established their roots okay all right let's go ahead we'll get some characteristics all right we have Twin Flame that popped out. 
We have body piercing. This person could have a body piercing. We have home slash family life. So this person is really, really cl close with their family, which makes sense because a long time this person's family controlled their thought pattern and what they did. We also have high maintenance. So yeah, this person really is high maintenance, care about how they look. Um, they got some money, okay? Let's see. I'm also seeing some tattoos here. All right, we have salt and pepper hair. So this could be an older individual or they could have legit like dyed their hair salt and pepper. We have dark skin, which I was picking up earlier. We have air sign. Of course, we have the justice card here. So this person could be a Libra. And then we'll get one more. And then we have kinky hair. All right, and bottom of the deck, we have different religious beliefs. So yeah, I knew y'all was gonna come from two different backgrounds. Um, huh, if you marry this person, then it's gonna be some obstacles, but it's totally gonna be worth it. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna wrap it up with some letters. All right, we have you, we have you, we have you, <laughs> we have L, we have O, G, we have Y, we have I, uh, we have the letter E, we have R, C, we have X, we have N, we have P, we have O, and then we have another N. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end your reading here at pile number one. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who chose pile number two. This is going to be your reading on who is the next most influential person to enter your life. So we are going to jump right in. Let's get you a card perfect this is the first intuitive card that popped out this is a very influential person who you wouldn't know is an influential person so for an example this person could this person could be rich but not famous and i'm not saying that this person is rich that is just an example that i am getting so this could be an individual who is responsible for a lot of people who are successful maybe like a mentor or something like that um and they could be really stable and make a lot of money but this is someone who kind of sits in the background so even in their friend group, they might have like a really extroverted friend who kind of gets all the attention, gets all the ladies or gets all the guys. Um, but this person kind of just like humbly takes a back seat, but is the foundation. They are the bread and butter um, and nobody would ever realize it. So again, using that same example, if you walk up to a table of people and you see somebody with you know, a bunch of jewelry on who has like a wad of cash in their hand, that wouldn't be this person. That would be their friend who's probably like actually broke and trying to like stunt. But this would be the person who has on simple clothing and is sitting off to the side, but has like a million dollars in their bank account. And so this person likes to kind of fly under the radar they really like art and they really like to spend money on really fine pieces. Um, they like abstract art. They are attracted to a lot of things that most people wouldn't be attracted to. And I feel like it comes out in their style as well. So this would not be a person who wears a lot of expensive name brand stuff, uh, but they would prefer to wear things that they actually like. And they kind of don't care if people like make fun of them for it or if it's not on trend. Um, this person has built enough of a solid foundation to where they don't even care, right? Because they already know in the back of their 
in the back of their mind that they got it. So if anybody like talk shit about them, you know, they don't even feel the need to defend themselves or prove anything. They just like, cause they already know that in the back of their mind, they're like, huh, if you only knew, I'm gonna go get on my yacht after you're done talking shit. And I feel like this person kind of lives vicariously through other people. And that's so weird to me, I wonder why. So this is someone who could produce like an amazing like music artist or actor or actress, but like doesn't do it themselves. So, um, but they like to kind of watch and embody that. If this is a woman, they have a really nice chest area. They could have really large breasts. Um, if this is a man, they have a really nice chest area as well. This is someone who could be Italian or like Italian food. I'm saying like bread and olive oil um, or someone who could just really like the simple things in life. So not a flashy person at all. Someone who is God fearing. This person could be really into whatever religion that they practice because I do see this person in prayer. Okay, this is a very, very grateful person all right let's continue we'll grab some tarot all right who is the next influential person to enter the life of my pal number two this person likes history Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person likes history. They could want to do things like the old times just to, just for the sake of experience. So this is the type of person who would like to go and make their own butter using like a churn just because of the fuck of it. Like just for the experience. So this is someone who would be into like renaissance fairs or um, just something about history is coming through. All right, we have the world, which makes a lot of sense. We have the king of fire. We have the two of fire. And then we have judgment. We also have the sun at the bottom of the deck that came out for the first pile as well. I don't know why I keep hearing the vibration you don't see, the energy you don't see. So like, I just get the sense that this person needs a lot more credit or should be getting a lot more credit. Because again, in this two of fire, you have these two women on stage and then you have cameras and people who are taking pictures of them, this person would be the birds in the background, right? Something that you wouldn't pay attention to. Uh, this could definitely be a business owner and someone who is really well-traveled. This is someone who's genuinely interested in other people and other cultures. Even if it's not uh, like their job. This is somebody who would go and just read the history of everything and everyone and could even be a history teacher if they really wanted to. And this is someone who aspires to go and see the things that they read about. So if they read about an ancient temple in a book, this is someone who's going to be Googling it to see if it's still there, booking a flight so they can go see it firsthand. And they'll bring the book with them, all right, to see if they can find things or references um, from that book. And I feel like this person has to do a lot of research for their job, right? So if they're making a movie or writing an essay or writing a book on whatever subject, they really immerse themselves in that and they enjoy it. This is someone who meditates and someone who likes to practice like deep breathing or something like that. So yeah, for some of y'all, this could easily be like a teacher or 
you know, um, a mentor or something like that that's about to enter your life, like somebody who you're paying money to, to get you to a certain point. Like if you're looking for like a manager or a life coach or anything like that, um, this would be that type of person. All right, let's continue. also likes technology and like video games this person could easily make a video game as well we have advocate inspires you to put compassion into action and i'm gonna pull another card for this pile and we also have bully highlights your tendency to intimidate others helps you confront the inner fears that bully you we have child, orphan, independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. So this could honestly be somebody who was bullied, was bullied here, and they tend to sit in the background. They're amazing as far as their talents and abilities, but they would prefer to coach other people on it and advocate for them. Um, and have them put their plan into action versus them actually being the one to get up and do it. And I feel like this is something that this person is working through and learning um, because if they took the time to take their own advice, because I, I feel like this person is really good at giving advice, but if they actually took their own advice, like this is somebody who, <laughs> and they have a smart mouth too, because I just heard, I don't care to do that. I don't care to do that. So um, is it somebody who just would rather be in the background? Uh, they could have been an orphan with orphan here. And so they're kind of used to feeling like uh, unwanted or just in the background. So um, they kind of stay there. But, and this is just my opinion. I do feel like if this person just comes out of the closet and I don't know why I said it like that. So this could definitely be somebody who is gay or likes the same sex. But this person could legit be just like the people who they train. Because with the king of fire here, this is somebody who's outgoing. This is somebody who is in your face. So internally, internally, I feel like this is the spirit that this person has. And they kind of suppress it. But I do feel like the people who are closest to them kind of get a taste of that. So if this is a music teacher, this is someone who would not sing. But like uh, like if you are really close to this person, you could probably like hear them singing, washing dishes. And you're like, damn, like you're so good at that. Why don't you go and pursue it? And they're just like, nah, like I'm good. I'll just like teach my students and... When people look at their greatness, they'll know it came from me. But all right, let's continue. Who is the next influential person? All right, we have connect with your ancestors. We also have write a gratitude list. Again, with the gratitude, I do see this person um, really involved with spirit, really involved with God, and really involved with whatever a uh, religion that they are in or what, with whatever faith that they practice uh, with gratitude list here and connect with your ancestors. They're very, very grateful for everything that they have. And they're not going to only connect with their own ancestors. They're going to connect with your ancestors too, because again, this person likes history and things like that. Um, this person could easily be like a priest in a certain religion um and if any of you are looking for a godparent this could be your godparent all right let's get some characteristics let's see we have gray eyes
We have online dating. So if this is a romantic situation for you, some of you guys can meet this person online. We have facial piercing. We have short. So this person could be short. There's something about the cheeks of this person coming through as well. We have black hair. This person could have chubby cheeks. Dang, there's like a ton of cards that popped out. We have bilingual. We have average height, so we have short and average height. We have brown hair. <laughs> we have different religious beliefs. Um, we have social media. And then we also have short hair. Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of this person's work on social media, but again, you wouldn't see them because they're in the background. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. I know y'all tired of me saying that shit. <laughs> um, and with different religious beliefs here they could have different religious beliefs than you so we have short and average height so this is not a tall person so this is somebody who would probably be the same height as you or if you're short they'll be taller than you but if you're average height then this is someone who would probably be around the same height as you this could definitely be a godparent or teacher, especially with child orphan here, because I'm seeing somebody who or has certain skills that their parents or family members, family members don't have. And so they are seeking um, a teacher and then this person kind of guides them. Oh, shit. And then right under that, we have guide. So that makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to get some. Scrabble pieces. All right, so we have a letter U, we have the letter I, we have the letter W. I feel like I never see fucking W, so boom, there you go. <laughs> we have a letter C, we have a letter A, we have Y, we have a letter Q, there's a V here, another U, we have letter C, the letter N. I don't know why I'm hearing the number three, and that's crazy because I just flipped over C and three was here. Um, there's something about this person being good at maybe like numerology. Um, so we have N, we have O, we have I. Um, we have the letter Y. Yeah, I think this person is good at numerology or breaking down people's names or something like that. And then we have the letter E. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and end your reading there, pal number two. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who chose pal number three. This is going to be your reading on the next influential person to enter your life so let's go ahead and we're gonna get started all right so this is the intuitive card that you got this is someone who likes to move around a lot or has a dream of moving around a lot so this could easily be a person who wants to move into a van, move into an RV, or just um, want to uh, get stable enough to have the resources to travel a lot. This is someone who could have an aspiration of being like a travel vlogger or something like that. Um, I feel like at one point in this person's life, they could have been headed in the wrong direction and maybe had a run in with the law, but quickly turned around and um, Put that energy towards something positive this could even be somebody who works with kids they definitely don't have to be but this is someone who has uh, had some life experiences that they could use to motivate other people uh, this is someone who's really into like Marvel movies or like superhero movies um, or just things like that. They could even have a collection because I'm seeing like figurines behind glass or um, they could like to collect things. It doesn't even necessarily have to be uh, like superheroes or anything like that. But this is someone who likes to collect something. 
Mm, if they are into like superheroes and anime and things like that, this is definitely somebody who would not mind going to like Comic Con and like dressing up. Um, especially if this is like a female or a feminine energy. Uh, they're really into that as well. Just like dressing up as like different characters and kind of like immersing themselves in that. This is someone who really likes their home to be a safe space. So they could like decorating. Um, or I don't know, there's just something about the home or something about stability. Or maybe they can make any place their home if they bring like a certain item or something with them. Mm, this is someone who could have had their finger, hand, or arm injured at a very young age. So they might have like a scar or something. A scar or I'm hearing a story from like a limb that was injured. Or could have even been born with something extra and had it cut off. And that's where the scar is from. And that's only going to be for a few people. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Who is the next influential person to enter the life of my pal number three? Let's see, we have the three of pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the High Priestess and the Six of Water. All right, we have the Six of Air as well. This could be someone who works in spirituality with the Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess here. They could be very intuitive, regardless if they know it or not. Uh, this person could definitely have a social media platform um, or work professionally in the spiritual community. If that is not it, if you are psychic or something like that or work in the spiritual community or have a platform this is somebody who's going to reach out to collaborate with you um i think it's going to turn into a little something something more uh, that's only for a few people because i know not everybody is on social media this definitely feels like a friendship to me although it could be romantic um, to some of you. So if you feel alone, you feel like you don't have a friend or anybody who understands you, I feel like um, this person could meet you on like a different level or something like that. I'm hearing pen pal. This person could live in a different country or a different state than you because I'm seeing a lot of phone calls, a lot of video calls as well. I feel like you'll have to travel to this person this is someone who has a secret hobby or an extra source of income that not many people know about. And so they could have a regular job, but also do some other things on the side. And it doesn't necessarily have to be spirituality, but this is somebody who is giving the universe multiple ways to bless them as far as money. So this could be somebody who does like Uber or DoorDash or does hair on the side or nails on the side or um, cuts hair or just whatever it is. But they definitely have a side hustle and they are trying to get certified in more than one thing because I don't know, this person just seems like they are building a solid foundation for themselves. This could easily be somebody who is saving up to quit their job because they want to travel. So I feel like right now they're in like grind mode. And so if you meet this person, I'm hearing something about if you meet them and they look like raggedy or unkempt, like don't judge them. It's just because they're putting their money uh, in their savings or they, they are seeing the bigger picture. And so if this is a romantic interest, and you're a type of person to be like, oh, well, this person needs to take me on like an expensive day or this and this and that. Um, I'm being told not to judge this person because it's not that they don't have it. It's just that they are putting it to the side to, you know, do something that they want to do. Um, and for some of them, that's even starting a business. 
because I'm hearing something about an exit strategy or a plan that this person has come up with. They could even be like trying to make a big purchase, like buying a house or buying a car um, or something like that. But just because it appears that they don't have it on the outside doesn't mean that they actually don't have it. So make sure you keep that in mind. Pile number three. This could definitely be an intuitive reader going back to, um, you know, this person being psychic. They could specialize in like looking into path li past lives, excuse me, or hypnosis. Um, or if they're not a reader or something like that, this could just be somebody who you are about to encounter, who you have had past lives with. This person could be skinny or petite, that's not gonna be for everyone. I don't know, I feel like a real feminine energy from this pile. And of course we had, do have the queen of water here and the high priestess. So for some of you, this could be a woman or just someone who carries a more feminine energy with them. This person is very emotional and they cry. Um, Something about them crying other people's tears. So they could definitely be an empath. Doesn't have to be. Right now, this person is looking at you on social media, looking at your work, looking at your pictures, looking at your page or something. Trying to figure out if they're going to reach out. This person could be young, okay? Because I'm seeing like a really useful look to them, a really useful energy to them. Um, so this person could be younger than you or you could be a younger person. Or if not, this person could just have a really childlike energy or even have children. But like, I'm telling you, like, this is the type of person, like if their kid is dressing up for Halloween, like they're dressing up with their kid right with them. And not just because their child asked them to, but just because they actually um, enjoy things like that. So let's go ahead and continue. we have student and alchemist you see this person is always gaining knowledge always evolving and they could definitely be a witch the next influential person to enter the life of power number three yo this is an amazing friendship it could be romantic for some of you, but I'm really not getting that. This is going to be a really, really good friend. Like, and if you have any other friendships in your life that are subpar or imbalanced, when you meet this person and you see the type of energy they carry and how loving and compa how loving and compassionate and empathetic they are, it's going to have you rethink all of the other relationships in your life. All right, we have a Messiah. You see, serving humanity with humility. And then we have Samaritan, refines your capacity to help those you would, pre you would prefer to ignore. So see, this person is just nice. This person is just nice. This is a nice person, but it's like, I feel like a lot of people take this person for granted or they could have been taken for granted in the past or even bullied. Um, and if you chose this pal, you could be an extrovert because I don't know why I'm hearing the introvert for the extrovert. And so when this person ent enters your life, um, this is somebody who I won't say needs protecting, but it's kind of like one of those energies at, excuse me, it's kind of like one of those energies that are like, you know, protect this person at all costs because there's not many uh, left of them in the world. And so this is somebody who um, could easily be walked all over or maybe have been walked all over in the past because they are so empathetic and because they feel things so deeply. And so I feel like you're going to have like a protective energy over this person. Kind of like, don't come at my friend. Like, I'll punch you in the fucking face type shit, right? Because this is a nice person. This is genuinely a nice, humble person, right? 
like somebody who just thinks about you like if they have a garden or something like that because i'm hearing that this person could really be into herbalism and spiritual baths or maybe like growing their own food and things like that this is somebody who would like make you a little basket before they came to your house or just like always thinks about you and it's not even just with you it's with just everyone who is in their life this is a top notch friend top notch significant other okay like period um all right let's see i don't know why i just put this card right here when it was on the bottom of the deck but um that's for a reason so i'm gonna look at this bottom card now we have father all right so uh, this person could have children or I feel like um, there's something about the relationship with this person's father. I don't think it was very good for some reason is what I'm picking up. But also on this Samaritan car, like you see these two people, they're just like twins um, or like just really good friends. And so, yo, this could either be like a maybe like a twin flame or... Uh, this is this is gonna be somebody who you're really close with this is giving me like best friend energy okay so if you um have been like releasing a lot of like old friends you're kind of lonely and like your new friends haven't come in yet like on a different vibration like it's like this person is coming okay don't even don't even sweat it pile number three okay so who is this person the next influential person into the life of pile number three y'all may meet each other at work we have take a walk and then we have deep breathing at the bottom of the deck somebody who likes to meditate somebody who's into breath work um something about reiki is coming through too this person could definitely be a healer and this is so weird to get with take a walk, but I'm hearing put your head on my shoulder. So this is somebody who will be a shoulder to cry on for you. Like somebody who won't judge you. I don't know if you've had issues with that in the past of um, somebody who has taken your vulnerability and used it against you, pile number three, but God is bringing in a person who is legit not gonna judge you and is gonna give you a shoulder to cry on and i think um you guys are gonna be that for each other okay all right let's see some characteristics who is this person all right we have black hair We have shy. Didn't I say this person was shy or, or um, I believe I said an introvert? Like, yeah, you're this person's extrovert if you are an extrovert. But like, I feel like you're going to break this person out of their shell too because I feel like you're going to identify different traits in them where you're going to be like, girl, why don't you do that? Or why don't you capitalize on there? Or like, why don't we go and do this? And they're going to be like, no, like I'm good. Like I'm shy. I have anxiety. And you're going to be the one to break them out of their shell. And it's just, this relationship just seems so fun. Okay. It just seems just so deep and down to earth like i would hate to be a third wheel for y'all okay and it doesn't even have to be romantic like this, this is just like hanging out with somebody and their best friend and they have inside jokes and you just sitting on the sideline like what the fuck like that's how in sync you guys are going to be all right we have past life connection of course of course i said that already um, we have twin flame as well. I think I said that already too. We have short. This person could be short. We have water sign. Definitely picking up cancer energy. All right. We have tattoos. This person could have tattoos. We have medium brown skin. We have younger woman. Definitely was picking up a youthful energy. Uh, we have long hair we have very tall so this person could be tall we have a large build 
um and then we have older woman so there's gonna be um an age gap between you guys and it's gonna be really refreshing because i feel like one of you is gonna be like oh we're not even the same age we weren't like born um at the same time or around the same period but like you're gonna relate to them anyway or i'm seeing that this person could speak like they're from a different time or something like that i don't know but um we're gonna get some scrabble pieces to end your reading All right, so we have the letter T, we have the letter E. Um, this person could be a therapist. I don't know why that's coming through. We have the letter W, we have the letter B, the letter E, the letter V, the letter A, we have an O, another O, a letter E, the letter R. This is a blank one, so that can go for anything. We have a letter J, the letter U, the letter A. We have N, D, R, I don't know, Dominican Republic. <laughs> uh, we have the letter O, we have the letter U, and then the last letter we have is the letter E. Whew. Well, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end your reading there, pile number three. Thanks so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.